Okay, so today's episode is going to be just continuing straight on from the previous one, pretty much, as we crack on with the next episode here in Macclesfield for City Bus Manager. Yes, hello boys, girls, and orders in between. My name is Michaela, and welcome back to City Bus Manager. Now, in the previous part, we did buy the Sataras. I've not actually had a chance to make the Mark 1 repaint yet um because i didn't really want to film this when i am filming it but it makes more sense to me to do the recording now so we're going to crack straight on with it now what i did do off camera uh, is two things one we got this new challenge which is one we've already had but we've got to do it again which is network coverage in Sillington. how do you want us to do it game there's nowhere else to serve maybe we'll do a route from like congleton to like orderly edge or in wilmslow maybe but as you can see we've unlocked a lot more and a route so, I've piped in the first of our big routes, the 111, the triple one. Now, in real life, of course, the triple one goes to Manchester Airport, and this is not the final route that this will do. This will continue to Stockport Interchange, where it will then terminate. Um, it's a much more direct route. It kind of follows near enough, or s roughly, a, a version of what the 393 does in real life, kind of. Um, but we sort of got this road here. We go down the back streets through the centre, so it's a more direct route than the others that go through here. So all the others now act as a local route, and this is the express one. Or faster one via through Adlington, obviously, Adlington, sorry. Stopping here at Hope Green um, by Adlington Park. Through Poynton, um, up here, and it currently it's terminating at Hazel Grove Park and Ride. And what are we going to be using on that route? Well, something very specific. We're going to go to buy new bus. Uh, we're going to go to large buses. Yes, we're going to be buying some Wright Eclipse Fusions, our first ones for the series. These are very expensive. Um, so 253,000 will buy us four. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll buy six of those we could take a loan out and buy more we're gonna buy how many do we need because i did set up the timetable but i don't know if, wait did i set the timetable or did i not do that yet hang on edit timetable yes i did okay and what does it say we need passenger uh, vehicles wise number of vehicles i'm hoping not too many okay it's saying three and it's not even gonna be too busy so maybe we don't even need to use bendy's on there but i'm gonna buy bendy's because it is going to eventually run to stockport and that's when it will get busier so buy new bus right clip fusion right eclipse fusion um we're going to get five for now. We won't put aircon because I don't know if you could get aircon on an Eclipse. Actually, there is aircon boxes on it, isn't there? Let me just... Let's find out. We're going to buy it with it and find out. If, actually, if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Um, Okay. Manage vehicle groups. New group. Triple one. Uh, in fact, let's just put... Uh, double o oh, yeah. There's already a Bendy's group. We'll just put them in the Bendy's group. We're just going to have a route-specific one. We will have a group for this route eventually. But for now, we're just going to use the Bendy's. Okay, so there is, like these there's vents so i guess you could have aircon on these we're going to fit them with aircon because um i know it's like 2005 and that wasn't very standard for buses but these will be used um on that high profile route so these aren't going to be branded up eventually so we will have them with that so that's fine so we scroll down eclipse fusion and there it is nope sorry there it is there we go i just love this repaint it looks so good uh, not that I'm saying my repainting is amazing or anything. I'm just saying, like, I just love how this turned out. It looks great. Um, I couldn't do the same effect on the back door as I did on the Cardiff repaint, of course, because this livery isn't very advanced in that sense. It is a more basic livery. So let's get these parked up in their spaces. We do have enough for the fleet. We might just buy a sixth one just to fill out the spaces. We shall see. Um, I didn't park there where I was thinking I was going to, but you know what? We'll take it. Um, another one can go there. There's actually seven spaces, I think, so maybe we'll buy two more when we have the money. Um, but we'll see if we can make this work. So we're going to make these MX um, plated. Now, I know roughly what plate we're going to have because I've the one I bought on card, if I've plated up as if it was from this fleet. Uh, I keep doing this wrong. Um, let's just let them pull in and we'll, can, we'll give them spaces after that flipping egg. There it is. There's the fifth one. Right. This one is so long that it doesn't actually fit on the spot by the looks of it, which is quite funny. Anyway, that's them there. They really are quite close to those solos. That is some close parking. Holy cow. Let's get a screenshot of that, shall we? Right. Now, again, there'll be a route brand eventually, but we're just going to have those on that route for now. So we're going to go on to the, schedule, uh, the timetable, and we're going to just put Bendy's. Good, that's all selected. Fan, Dabby Dozy. Confirm that. Let's number these now and plate them up. So, can we go to the fleet list? Right, so this will be um, 3001. We'll start from that end. It's fine. Oh, not 3001. For God's sake. Uh, 8001. These will be 8001, and they're going to be MX05. Now, we're going to start with um, C, no, not C, yeah, C, B, no, B, Z, and then we're going to go R, no, uh, C, B, T, E, 
uh, N, CBN, there we go. Cool, MX05CBN, MX05CBO. Uh, I don't know if you'd use O on, on these, really, but we're going to do it. 8002. Now, one thing I've noticed about this save, which is kind of bothering me now that I've noticed it so late, and I'm going to try my best to rectify it by just not doing any more of this, is I keep buying, like, really not that old buses. So, we're playing in 2005 right now, and I keep buying, like, vehicles from, like, the late 90s, when really I should be buying, like, early 90s stuff. So, we're going to look at that as our second-hand fleet and probably get some more of those in general, just to try and get the fleet age a little bit more realistic in that sense. So yeah, A004 and MX05 CBZ. Uh, there'll be a reason for that. Basically, um, you won't see this in game, but actually no, that shouldn't be CBZ. No, because we do want to have, basically because it's CC, so go to T. Yeah, what was that? It was R CBS then, which of course is also a, a video, a, video uh, a company, that, uh, what's the word, a TV company in America. Settings. Why does this feel like the graphics are too high? I'm going to turn it to medium, medium a sec, and then I'm going to go to them low again. No, that's weird. Although I own 24 hertz, which might be causing the issue. One second while I just change to 60 hertz. There we go. Hopefully that's a little bit better. I don't know why it feels so jumpy today. Um, right, so there we go. So now we can get that route activated with the bendies going, and it's bet you any money it's going to want more than five of them. Because that's the luck we have. It wants one more. Right, what we'll do, that will be, we'll use a decker, because we do have spares of those, or we should do. Um, in fact, yeah, because it's like a middle of the day run, so we'll definitely use a decker on there. Just have a look, what is it, 1135 to 1900? That's a really awkward shift. Is there any way I can make that work? Um, possibly not. That's a really, really awkward shift. Why has it done it that way? That's so annoying. You could go onto that one, right? Like that. And then this one that ends at 1540 could go on to one that starts after that. Which there probably will be somewhere in the options of vehicles to use. Um, if I can find oh, I should mention also, I'm going to show you that. I've had to change the group names um, for the vehicles. And it's come out as quite different to what we usually have. Okay, what I'm going to do till 1540, let's just bring that on to there. And then we got 1540 to 2040 there. Maybe maybe that's more usable, I don't know. Um, in fact, yeah, because then that can go on to there. Very tight turnaround for it. And then 450 to 1330, we're going to put on to something. Um, hmm. This is really difficult. Um, there you go. You can have the Omni City. Why not? It's close enough. It's not quite the right size of passengers, but it will do. So network coverage in Sittington. How are we going to do this? We really need external depots. Do we have that yet? I think we do, actually. Um, 200. No, we are three trophies away. For the love of all that's... That's just annoying, because I could do a depot in Congleton to run the route from, because there's not really enough space at this depot. And we don't have... Um... Hang on, why are you both parked over here? Hold up a sec. Why are you parked here? What number are you? 3009. Where is 3009 meant to be? Why are you not in your parking space? Would you, so, please, would you like to park where you're meant to be, please? Thank you very much. We do have some space, actually, to be fair. Now, these are being used on the 102, and I've decided to put these into the group of 75-plus passengers. And that's the new name in this save, and probably I'm going to change it on the other saves as well, actually. So we're going to now do 75-plus passengers, and then I might shoot to a new group for, like, 85-plus if we ever get a bus that big. But I don't think we will, because then we can just move to Deckers. Let's just run through the fleet, though, because I don't... Do we have automatic cleaning unlocked yet? Because if we do, we need to hire more cleaners, because they're not doing a very good job yet. Also, while we're here, we might as well research a solo bus, um, because we can. We haven't got any money for the uh, large ones yet. Where's automatic cleaning? That is hired. Uh, that is research. So let's just go into our staff. Hire employees, cleaners. How many do we have? Eight. Okay, let's hire a couple more. Or not. Work schedule, cleaners. Let's have, like, seven. And we'll have, like, f five mechanics overnight. Well, four mechanics overnight. And we'll actually have, like, six cleaners. There we go. And we'll have six researchers overnight. Just because we need that. We really do. Uh, you get, they get more pay and stuff, but it's just so worth it. Now, I've kind of very much future-proofed this depot. Also, what reminds me I need to do is... Uh, there, there we go. Good. Fantastic. We've got lots of washes. We've got two gas stations. We probably need more than that, but we will put more in when we expand the depot. Okay. Well, let's get that route running tomorrow. So let's time jump, which it will let us do. I thought they might be trying to do some cleaning and stuff now, but no, apparently not. Good. Right, well, there you go. So I don't know when the first buses leave, but they should be going soon. So let's just hope everything's all good. I don't think there's anything broken. Uh, we've got the Plaxton Prestige. I'm not going to worry about turning 
vehicles off and stuff. Um, it's fine. Um, my buses. Any broken ones? No. Good. Can we buy anything? Oh yeah, I got this Ford Transit in the 1990s. Turns out it carries three passengers. I'm good. That's pretty much useless. Um, we did get the uh, Leloyne open top. That's a fun one. Um, the LX400 BC7 TL. We could get those, obviously, because we do have to buy those anyway. So we could buy some of those second hand. But really, we're not going to buy them second hand. We've already got Envira 200s, obviously, in there, but we can't really do much about that. But yeah, I feel like we've got too many darts and stuff. It's a bit of a shame. Um, we are using them all, but actually we're not, because I think we're starting to get to that point. Again, I forget I shouldn't buy as many generic mini buses as I do. I should just start buying bigger buses and just upgrade routes anyway, because, like, we're not... Oh, I'm doing days instead of things. We're not using all the mini buses now. Um, we are, kind of, but that's only because the 201 and 200 are currently using them, but they're going to have to change, because unfortunately... I'm going to have to... Well, they're, they're going to have to have that or a frequency increase, because they were still running to capacity the other day. Um, they seem to be okay now, but I think I've increased the frequency drastically now. Um... I think between them they're running like every 15 minutes or less. So let's just see how this first day goes. We've got the Oak Grove route now is running with the transits. And I think the route via Sillington is now using bigger buses. Or might also be using the transits. There's our first articulated bus. I don't actually know how possible it would be to use a bendy bus in Macclesfield bus station. But let's not go there. Um, let's just see what we've got. Um, everything's sort of looking pretty good. Let's follow this bendy if we can. Um, on its first few runs, because I'd like to see how it do how it does. Um, mind you, it's got a little while to go. There we go. It should be pulling off now. This is its first run of the day, though, so it's not going to have a lot on it. I'm wondering if more people will come in from Hazel Grove, or if we're the way round, we'll have a lot. But it doesn't actually serve a lot, so it shouldn't be too busy. But I do want it to be Bendy's, because I just like the idea of these will be going eventually to Stockport, and then they'll be busier. And if really, if we really, really don't need it that way, then we can swap them round, so we could run this route with the Sataros for a while and then have the 102 and the Omnis obviously and have like the 102 and that maybe use the Bendies but I don't think the Bendies would get through like Wilmslow and stuff right now though it's like the middle of the morning it's very early in the morning sorry so we're really not going to get a lot of passengers on here um, so let's leave that running um, we are 14 minutes in and I've not really done much have I uh, we have bought a new fleet and that's about it um, let's do another route why not um, let's get this Sittington challenge done and then we can open this new depot so we're going to do one from Congleton, and we're going to call it the um, standard bus route. We're going to call it the 81 Congleton 2. In fact, I know exactly where to run this to. We're going to run it from Congleton 2, because I believe we should have, yes, we have got Manchester Airport, I believe, yes, to Manchester Airport. Manny Airport, we're going to Manny Airport. There we go. Because I think that's something you wouldn't see in real life um, ever happen. And it should do, because this would be quite cool. Now, the beginning bit will probably be quite empty, but then the rest of it should be pretty good. So we're going to run this from stand um, 2, which is there, at the bus station. Um, stand 2. And we could have run it from maybe further south than this, in fact, but we're going to do it from there. That's fine. What's serving here? It's the 90 and the 493 and 494. Yeah, so the 90, so this will also run that way. Then what we're going to do here is we're going to try and do a little bit of an odd change. Um, I think we're going to have it run... Like we could have a local route around that road, couldn't we? Let's have it run to this stop, like that. And then we're going to go um, a little bit different. We're going to go down... No, no. Um, yeah, let's stop on this road, just for fun. And then we're going to go to there, there. And then there's like a Greyfires carpets thing there. Okay, well let's have it stop there, maybe? Yeah, cool. So just a little bit of a different route as we're going to head towards Sittington, which is this way via Martin as well. I've never been to any of these places. I don't even know where they are. So this is that Kongs and Link Road we're going over now. So we're going to stop just here for whatever these buildings are. I think they're like a farm or something. And we'll stop on this crossroads as well. I'm sure we'll find a name for these stops at some point. Not anytime soon, though. We'll stop there. Again, I don't think many people will use these this route because these aren't really much in the way of places to visit. Let's just skip now ahead over to this. We'll serve the church separately by having a stop there, and then we'll have a stop in the middle of the village, which we're actually going to put there, so it's um, a little bit easier. I don't know what runs through Martin, if anything does. There's obviously bus stops here, but I don't know if anything runs up this way. There's a school, but we're not going to serve Martin entirely. We're just going to run, or do we? No, let's, yeah, let's actually go through this bit. Let's go around here and serve there. Oops, no, serve there. And then we've got the school here, so we can serve that. Well, actually, I don't know how good that bend would be, though. No. Ignore me, we're going to continue this way. We'll stop up here. I don't know what that road name is. If it has one, we'll name the stop that. We'll stop there. Just get those buildings in. 
Um, there's a name for that. That road's got a name, so we will just basically stop there just for that sake alone. Um, don't know if it gets it gets a couple of buildings in. Okay, that's fine. And we're going to go up to here, where we're then going to join. Do we go into Sittington or do we go through it? We'll go through it because then we must be able to get more coverage, right? So if we stop there. So let's just make it all two-way stops uh, along here, or like one-sided stops, and then there. And then I think that might work to get the coverage that we need. This is a really bizarre route so far because it's not really going anywhere. But then it's going to suddenly just go to the airport for probably very little reason. Don't know what that is. It's kind of a bit weird. Um, there's not a lot up here. This is the problem with Cheshire. It's a bit of a nothing. Let's stop there. I don't know what that is, but we'll stop there. And then we can go to these crossroads where we then join the um, the 101, is it? That we're working from with now? 102. The 102 route runs along this way. Um, we're not going to serve Audley Park with this. Um, we're going to go straight around. Um, mainly because I don't want the numbers to be too high on this route. Because I want to see if I can try and get away with using some of the... Um, the single deckers that we've not used down in Macclesfield on the route for now. We have not a very long dead run for now, but when we can open this, the Congleton Depot, we can try and run it out of there and it should be a bit better for the dead runs. Stop there. Good. We've got to stop there as well. Good. So right through Alderley Edge. And then what we're going to do is when we get to this point here, which is um, Harden Park and all that um, along here, we're going to just continue as we are. So we're basically... Now we're just paralleling the 102, so these routes will just run alongside each other throughout this bit of the, the route. Um, is that both ways or is that one way? That's one way. It's only for Macclesfield direction on that route, so no, we won't stop there then. So let's, oh my lord. Autosave just made my game have a bit of a moment. So from the health centre to there. Through Bank Square, which we're going to go... Let's have a look. Where's the airport? It's over there, isn't it? So let's go... Yeah, we'll go for Bank Square, Stand A again. And then you can go down to here where the Waitrose is. We'll stop. I think it's. I think it stops there. But if it's not, then it's going to be there today, because that's where I'm putting it. Um, and then to there, as well. They're a bit close those two, but it's necessary, um, just so that Waitrose has, Waitrose has a second stop. So I'm just having a look now where the best way is to go from here. I'm thinking. Hmm. This is a good question. There's a lot to serve. There's a there's a, an estate here now. I know that the 130 I think in real life does go down that estate. In fact, it does for sure. I think it might even go down. We could even do like a little A road section there, couldn't we? No, we'll go this. We'll go down here. Around this way. Like that. Oh, that's not on the right row, so we'll just bring that in a bit more. Put that there. Put that there. And then we're going to go... Oh, this is actually quite interesting. How does it manage to go to the airport from here? Oh, I know which way it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, we're going to do this. We'll go around this way. There's method of this madness. I just want this route to do well. So I'm trying to get as much in as I can on the route. And I know that this estate is definitely served by the 130 in real life. Um, so we're going to go around that. And then onto this road. Now don't worry. That again, as I said, there is method behind this madness. We will eventually be back heading towards the airport. Because right now, as you can probably tell, we're heading away from it. And now we're going to go down this way. Okay. Basically, we're now just recreating the 130. But not from Macclesfield. So it's different, but the same. So then this is Handforth Station. Now, I don't know if there is a stop at Handforth Station, but we're going to stop there anyway, just to get that in. And we will call it Handforth Station for now. Uh, we'll just call it um, Outside Station. I'm just going to check progress on something, so please bear with. There we go. Okay, that's all checked. So let's have a look. Now, there is this. And what is this? This is... Oh, that's Handforth Dean Shopping Centre. Right, yeah. So that's where the... Sunday service on the 130 does turn, of course. As you'll know if you've seen that episode of um, Routing Through. So we go down the Wilmslow Road here, like so. Very nice. I don't know why there's only got stops on one side of it, but you know what? We we will vibe with it. We shall vibe and continue. And over here, again, now, what we could even do is, we could even do like a skyline end to the route. That could be fun, couldn't it? So instead of going into Wivenshaw, and Hill, into Hill Green and then Wivenshaw, what we could do is just go directly down the, the motorway here. Which could be quite fun. It's a nice little ending point. We could even go around... This is World Freight Terminal, I think. Actually, what is this? I don't even know. That's like a weird... Weird, weird thing. What is that? Hmm. But we could do that. We could even go... Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just having to think where the best way would be to go. Where is... um? Where is where is the World Freight Terminal? Is that this? It can't be. 
No, that's like down here somewhere, isn't it? Is that it there? That's outside the viewing park. Anyway, um, do we go down the main road? Or do we go through style? We should have maybe gone through style. That would have been more interesting. No, it's okay. We can do a route through there at some point. Okay, no. What we're going to do, we're going to go around this just to get it in. Because I think that would be quite interesting. So we're going to go down this way and then around here. Probably better to serve this for a local route, but I think... Actually, no. That's a good idea. It is better to serve with a local route. So we're going to go down this main road, actually. So through there to the hotel that's there. We're going to go... Hmm, yeah, we're going to go down the main road. So I think if we go to, into Withenshaw as well, it's going to be really busy, this route. We will have the route from to the airport from, Man from Macclesfield go through Withenshaw, though. So don't worry too much about us not serving there yet. So we're actually going to just go down all the way to the junction. Now, I think to get to here, you've got to take a pretty odd route, right? Okay, yes, yeah, so you've got to come off there and then around. That works. So we'll do that into the station, which you have to go sort of around this way to get to. So up here. Which if we do that, I should just get the right path. Yep. Into the station. We're going to go to stand. It's this one, which I think. So let's have a look. We go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. I've got Facebook on. I'm so sorry. We'll go there for H. And let me just shut my Facebook before it pings off again. I apologize if that threw you off. So that's H. We'll call it H. There we go. Stand. H. Let's upgrade that. Made no difference to the satisfaction on it. Great. And now we're going to go back. So to go back, literally we're just going to go, obviously, back out this way. And then we're going to go down the main road to the junction, which is here. We're going to come round to... What we're going to do is we're going to stop here on the way back, just so it's a bit of a distance between the two. Um... And then we're going to go to there as well. And we're going to go click that so we can do... No, that's probably not going to fit, is it? That's going to go into there. I don't think it's meant to. So just to be sure, we're going to put it on the main road. Um, and then the clinic. Stop there. And then we're basically just going to go back. So at this point, I will roll into a little time lapse just as we finish this route off. And then we should be able to round the video up from that point. Well, once I've done the timetable, of course.
Okay, so that is now done. It's quite the lengthy route. It's kind of so if I go to Tantible Preview, um so basically it runs hourly from Congleton starting at seven fifty five. And then the rest of the day actually starts at Wilmslow Bank Square and runs just between those two. And then it runs fifteen minutes between Wilmslow and the airport throughout the day and then an hourly extension to Congleton. Um with the end bits sort of being a little bit even less frequent with like half hourly frequency and so on and so forth. The idea behind this being it's kind of similar to the real life Route 88, which goes to Macclesfield, but it only extends to Macclesfield on a two hourly basis. I don't want to go too extreme with two hourly, so we've gone for hourly. And then on Sundays, um, something even slightly more different is that it runs between Wormslow and the airport only, so it doesn't actually run between the areas we've done here, like the quieter bits. It just starts at Tower Grange, and it, when it terminates, it comes up as terminating at Wormslow, as very Alderley Edge Station. And weirdly, this has also got the one of these has not changed that one. Yeah, there we go. So go back to Sunday now. There we go, yeah. So it terminates at Audley Edge Station, which is nice to see. So we'll run those like that, see how that route does. Let's just go to easy mode, see what it thinks we're going to need. We're going to be getting passenger numbers wise. Um, it's going to say, it's saying we need at least 13 buses with 235 capacity. Now, I don't think that's actually right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically run it with deckers. Um, so we're going to buy some more double deckers. Uh, we do need to get some more B7TL ALXs anyway, because we need to get to that numbers. Um, We'll basically get the numbers of them up because we do need to look at that. So let's have a look at loans. Let's accept a 220 grand loan right now. And we're going to buy a new fleet of B7TLs. We're going to expand our fleet. So let's just see where we can put these before we buy them. Um, currently they're here. So if we buy four for there and then maybe we'll fill this back up. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Maybe we can fill this up. In fact, let's move that right down to just to there for now. We can actually fill this up. So we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we move the Sataros as well, actually. So my buses, solo buses, Sataro, water below one, water below two, water below three, water below four. They're out on the run. And water below five can all move to there. Like so, and then we can have, basically we can order 14 then, can't we? So buy new bus, double decker, B7 TL, we'll buy 10 first. That's not, we've not got enough money for 10 even. That's actually quite sad. Loans, um, accept that, repay, accept, repay, accept, accept, repay. Oh, God. There, there we go. Let's do it all free, there we go. We're going to go crazy with the new buses here, so. We're in the loans, but it's okay, we can make up for that. So we're going to put no PIS, no aircon, just for now. Drops it down to 418. Two actual decals. Decals? Decals. Buy. So we're going to use. Buy 10 more of these. The idea of which being. So we're just going to see where we're up to on the actual numbers. And then. So we're already up to number. Uh, where are they? There. We're up to 10. And the ones we have on Wales are. The 53s? Or the 54s? The Wales ones are. The MV53, so we're going to buy those next before we then. These will be a mixture of 53s and 04s as well. Um, mostly M53s though, we'll get those pretending that they were bought like at a different time. So we're going to put four of these in here. These can be the 453 place actually. These ones here. Uh, and what we're going to then do is buy some second hand deckers um, just to fill in the gaps. So now we're going to. Park the rest of them up here. Park you there. Where are the rest are going? They're all going all over the place, aren't they? Oops, no, that's you there. You there. Uh, you can park there. Uh, so look, and what else we got? You can park there. There's so many of them, but there should be ten that can park on this bit. And then what we'll do, we'll just get the route going with these, you know, without anything done to them, plates and stuff, and then we can work from there. So that's not looking like the amount. Of, where's all the ones I, I ordered ten, didn't I? So four, and then six. Yeah, so now we need to order, go to used buses. There's no deckers in there. Of course there isn't. Why would there be deckers in there at the time we need them? Well, I'm going to do this and hope I don't get it. Rejected, good. Large buses, and I'm just going to go this again. Rejected, good. Still no double deckers? Alright, cool. Right, just bear with me, folks. 
Okay, so this is a little bit of a panic moment. We haven't got any more used deckers at the moment. We'll leave it for now. Let's see if we can run it with that. So let's go to that route. Let's click. This is a big risk. Um, edit timetable. Two axle deckers. Deckles. I can't speak today. Deckers. Confirm that. And now, I'm going to do the big moment of activating it now. Oof, that's that's going to be a painful thing to look at. Let's just also get the right colour. We got that already. I don't know. Did it pick the right colour by... No, it just picked a really similar one. Cool, right. Let's just start assigning these like mad. We won't have enough drivers, I don't think, but it's fine. We can hire more of those. Just keep going, keep going. I'll do the plates on these at another point. Go, go, go. Good, right. So that'll do for now. Let's just hire some more drivers anyway, just because we're probably going to need more. We need more lockers. Uh, that's fine. What we can do then is we can just fill this corridor with lockers. So, locker, yoink. And yoink. There we go. We can always delete those when we need the doors. Uh, staff, hire employees, bus drivers. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Yep. Oh, I've hired a, a bad one now, but it's fine. We'll try and get rid of them if we can remember. My employees. Where's that driver? It was like unfriendly. Um, where's friendly? That's the bottom one. Okay. There's actually some that are already on friendly anyway. Let's just leave it. Screw it. We can fix the friendliness later. Okay, let's go to the shift schedule. Assign buses, assign bus drivers. So we're one bendy short now, which isn't great. But then do we have a spare decker now with those new ones in? They'll be down to S, the new ones. Because um, I've not done the plates. So they'll be around here. Yes, we could probably squeeze that onto something, surely. If I put that on there. Hmm. Nope, th these shifts are just really awkward. This 11.35 shift is just a pain in the proverbial. There is nowhere it fits. Not one place. You. Take you off. Put you on there. 13.55. So what if I do... Hmm. Oh, one was a P. Okay, well, let's take them off. 13.55 there. And we've got a 13.50 as well, but I think with this, because that's the Western Circular, I'm going to put a 80 or a larger single on there. So we'll go over to here. Let's just have a look. What's None of them are spare now. That's a nightmare. Okay, hang on. Take you off. Put you on there. And the back to Wormslow, which might be too busy for it, but we're going to just put one of the spare renowns onto there. Like so. Nope. There. No, that's... Yep, go on. You have the Alex 300. There. Cool. So that's that new route in. Um, we've got a little Lindler Community Primary School giving us a room. But before we do that, let's just see if we can get our first one of these um, really extravagant routes that we've just, or 82s that we've just designed the complicated timetable for. That was a really complicated timetable, it really was. There's one going out of service, that'll be going to it. Let's see, what are you doing? Are you doing a short run? You're doing the full run to Congleton. Great, let's see how well the route does. Because I am curious before we go. Um, also, I'll have to find out what this is, what are you saying? Excursion to Vintage Family Fun Fair on Thursday, and we'd like to go by bus. No, because that's tomorrow, and I'm not going to have time to do it. Right. There's two here now. This one's doing the full run, so we'll watch this one, and we'll just look at the numbers. It's a great start, because neither of them have got anyone on board yet. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. You know, it's only half nine in the morning. And this is the bit that doesn't really have any stops, which in City Bus Manager terms means it's usually not popular, which is weird, but there you go. Should be the other way around, because the airport's important, and it gets you there quicker, but there you go. So we're going right around these local bits here. It looks really good. Very nice. I don't know if any of these areas can fit deckers, but there you go. We're using them. Looking good. Remember with these, there's only like, I think, 15 of them are standing passengers, so it's fine if it gets nearer to 100. We're running right be behind this... Uh, it runs right behind the uh, 90 there, or whatever it is, the 80. 102, there you go. I like this. Looks This looks quite good. I think this actually works really well. Um, this bit has actually not got as little passengers as I thought it would, but it doesn't really feel like these longer ones need deckers. So what we could do is set the timetable up to use these having like Sotaros and stuff because that is something we could do, so what we could do is on this, right, you can go to edit timetable these could be 75 plus and then just these ones could be the two axles the, deck the deckers because that's the busier part of the route is the top bit and then this longer route could just be using the deckers and if we did that then tomorrow we now need more 75 plus passenger vehicles which is fine because we can get those second hand buy used bus, solo, and there we go, we can buy some of these, we can buy some Sotaros second hand, 
Although we wouldn't really get second hand Sataros because they're not that old. Um, I didn't think that one through, did I? Okay, no, we'll go back to Deckers for now. I can always change it further down the line if I want to. Right, well that's that. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed, remember to please leave a like and subscribe. Leave any comments down below if any feedback. And um, yeah, this has been quite an interesting episode. A nice long, long route. Hopefully that does well. And in the next episode, we'll probably do another route as, as well up there. We didn't actually look at the figures on the the one oh, the triple one we did. So let's have a look at that. Show tour details triple one. Not actually that busy yet, but I do think we're extended to Stockport. I've done a route of pretty much the exact nature of that before. Once you reach your Stockport, it usually has a lot of people that board it, so we'll see how that goes. But we can always serve maybe Bollington on it and then make it serve more places if it needs to increase the passenger numbers. But other than that, I've been Lucy McCaleb. This has been another episode from City Bus Manager, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye for now.